Girls, it's Mommy and Daddy from Ireland, and I wanted to explain to you what we're doing. We have spotted some fairies and some angels. We've taken a few pictures, and we've looked back on them, and it's really, really hard to notice them because their wings travel so fast. But we're still on a lookout. So we just saw one right in there. Um, it, it actually pretty much... Its wings are the shape of the leaves, funny enough, and it just kind of flew away. We first thought it was a bird, but then we saw that it had a hat on. So, we're continuing to look. See if you can find it. Maybe it went up that way, Daddy? Hmm. Let's walk up there. We'll check it out. All right. There's a little stream that disappears underneath the walkway. We've been trying to follow it. Hmm. There's something over there. I'm hearing some noises. There's something right... See something moving. Hi girls! We are now um, on a nature trail in the forest and we are seeing so much moss. See? And this must be nice and cushiony and comfy for the fairies. So we heard some noises, but we haven't seen anything yet, but we just we just went through a storm over the mountains, so it's possible that they were hiding out a bit. But as you can see, there's a little hide out there, right in there, right under here. There's a hiding out. But uh, I think that maybe they don't want their wings to get wet, so they're just kind of hiding from us. We'll let you know if we see any. Okay. Did you see something? What? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I think you're right. Oh, my heart's beating like a thousand. Years. This is a magical forest. Hi, well, no sign of the fairy, but I noticed. Where 
Lord of the Rings. You should feel them. They're so soft. A lot of moss. Hi there, ladies. Now we're um, at Dunbar Castle. And um, since we're at a castle, we made sure to walk all the way around, look in the little nooks and crannies for any fairies. So far, we didn't see any. Um, but we are on our way to the Burren, which is um, a very sacred kind of, I think there's a lot of fairy servants there, so we can find some kind of clue. But once again, the name of the castle is the Dongwar Castle, and we are in Kankaba. That's the name of the town. fairy pools right there and the moss these are re these are ancient rocks ancient thousands and thousands of years old and uh, we hear some sheep over out in the distance and at sometimes you'd hear ooh, ooh, ah. we're not sure what that sound is but uh, maybe it's a banshee it's a very ancient place. If you can look at the rocks, you can see faces in the rocks too. It's cool. on private property so we can't go on there but it is very very cool it's hard to see but we took some we've taken some pictures and we're trying to zoom in on them at home to see if we can capture a leprechaun sitting under the tree but there is a tree there's the end of the rainbow is right at a tree it's crazy and it's raining and it's sunny it's just absolutely beautiful So we are in the middle of a rainbow right now. Mm -hmm. Right on the road. Can you get me on the road? Mm-hmm. You want to try to be on the road to get the whole shot? Jet out and 
them. They're all different colors, which is really nice. Um, the ocean is down there, but it's pretty steep down, so we're not going to go too close. And there's castles on each end. There's castles there and castles there. It's absolutely beautiful. The weather's shining. It's a little muddy walking, so Daddy's holding, we're holding each other's hands, and we miss you, miss you so much. We love you so much. Killarney National Forest. We were just we just came from a horse carriage, and behind me is Torque Waterfall. It is so beautiful here. There's so many beautiful trees, like Spanish chestnuts, bay leaf trees. We're having a great time. It's a little drippy today, a little rainy, but we don't mind. And there's our waterfall. Hey girls. It's pouring rain right now, but we're in the forest by the waterfall. I don't know if you can see much, but we figured, if anything, this is where the fairies would be. Look at all the greenery. Unfortunately, we can't see or we can't hear much because of the, the waterfall is very loud. But there's beautiful moss on the trees, there's ferns on the ground, it's a beautiful place, a pixie hollow. <laughs> Hi girls, it's Mama and Daddy. We're up on, in the mountains in Killarney National Park and we just saw a whole bunch of mountains. Um, it's, there was a viewpoint called Ladies View and um, it was named after some of the Queen, um, Queen Victoria's ladies in waiting. It's beautiful. Then we found the sign. It says Leprechaun Crossing. We've been waiting here a while. And we've been looking through, and there's some yellow flowers over there, kind of golden flowers on top of a tree. So it is starting to rain, so it's possible that a rainbow will come about, and then maybe we can see them. But we've been waiting here for a while, and I think it's going to pour. So we'll see what happens, and we'll let you know. Okay, now we're going up Connor Pass. It's not for the faint-hearted, they said. Um, hopefully you can get a view of it. So if we were to have counted a car, we would have had to get to the side, or they would have. This is Connor Pass on the road to Dingle, and I don't think buses are allowed to go along. So we made it, and here's another viewpoint. Just keep going, and there I think is Dingle in the ocean. That was it. That was easy. That was easy. No problem. Okay, it's so hard to really capture how beautiful everything is. So, and we can't really turn off a lot, turn off on the side road very much. So, we're going to try to get some video. Hopefully, it's not too dark. Just see how green everything is, girls. It's just absolutely, positively beautiful. It's a green like you've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're driving to Dingle, and we're going up some real windy, windy roads up the side of the mountain here.
and we just pulled over because we saw the cute little waterfalls in the mountains. It's kind of raining a little bit. But it's very pretty and there was just a rainbow right over the mountains. We tried to take a few photos, but well, hopefully they came out well. So we're in, where are we? Kenmare. Kenmare. And we found signs for a stone circle, which we think might be like a fairy gathering ground. So we're walking down here, and the stone circle should be just up around the corner here. Wow, it's pretty. How old is it? Do we know that yet? Stone or Bronze Age, thousands of years old. And it's been like this the whole time. Look at the tree. Is it a fairy tree? Or maybe... People put decorations or offerings up here. Or wishes. Maybe they're wishes. For the fairies. So we'll do some wishes too. So we noticed over there that they, um, people have left wishes on the tree, uh, I think to ask the fairies. So I drew a heart um, to ask the fairies that we have long lasting love and health and happiness. And I'm gonna put all of our names. So I put David, Elizabeth, Vivian, Mirabel, Charlotte, and I'll do a little paw for Buddy. Okay, and then when we do stars for dreams, sun for health, and hmm, rainbow for happiness. We don't have a different color, so I just have to interpret. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it up. And I bought this at Michael's, and I don't mind giving it as an offering to the fairies. So I'm gonna wrap it around, and then we'll just stick it on the, onto the tree. So hopefully it'll stay there. It's good to say thank you too. Thank you, God. Thank you, fairies. Thank you, Blessed Virgin, Blessed Mother, for watching over our family, and we just ask you continue to do that. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> this is kind of fun. So we just stopped off at this little town called Kilmark and we were riding by and we saw all these surfers. So we came down to the water and we found a bunch of cool rocks that have been smoothed out by the, uh, by the waves here. So we, we came down the little staircase here onto the rock beach to get some rocks from here. Yeah. in my pocket. Where are they? In my pocket. Hi Charlotte. Hi Vivi. Hi Maribel. Charlotte, we're finding your shells in the ocean. This is kind of a secluded beach. There isn't anybody here. It's just Daddy and Mama. We found off the road to Dingle. 
And uh, we have a few different colors and sizes to bring home to you. The water is warm because there's something called the Gulf Stream that actually wars, warms the water. So even though it's we're up north, it's still pretty warm. And see, there's some mountains here, more pastures and farms. So this is absolutely beautiful beach. And when we first came down, we did see a rainbow. And Daddy took a picture. So. We have rainbow, we have farm, we have mountains, we have sand, warm water and shells. Bringing it home to you, babies. Hi girls, this is mommy and daddy. It's our last night in Ireland and we didn't know it or we just didn't check on it, but our travel agent gave us this kind of room. <laughs> and wait till you see what the outside looks like. It's a castle. We are in an actual castle. It's just the biggest room I think I've ever swell since been married. Yeah. Yeah. I think Papa and Great this is kind of a puppy like a Papa Granny room. Yeah. Right, where's the light? Hold on. Oh my gosh, there's a bidet. There's two toilets. We have to use a bidet. See? Alright girls, this is a toilet and this is called a bidet. You fill this up with water, you sit on it, and you wash your cheech. Charlotte would love it. Charlotte would put rubber duckies in there. So.